name is Digna Hebnik. I'm a grade 12 student at the RES Resection School. Hi, my name is Marie, and I study in Denmark. So, Marie, you graduated in 2023. Yes. How was life after high school? Where did you go, and how did it get to that point? So, first, after high school, I went to Germany to look at the university and the, their cities. And then um, I decided to take a look at Denmark, and I really liked the city, Copenhagen. And that is why I chose to study there. Which school do you go to, and what are you majoring in? I study at the Danish Technical University and um, specialize in engineering and biotechnology. You grew up here in Thailand, right? Um, how did the RES Swiss section help you transition your life to Europe? Um, Swiss section has a big international environment and I think that helped me a lot to be able to connect with the international students in my university. It was very easy to make new friends and to get to know each other, especially because there is no language barrier, mm -hmm. um, making it difficult for me to talk to them. Because I speak three languages, Thai, German and English. And yeah, when I got there, everybody was so surprised how fluent I am. I'm really happy that the RAS section prepared me for that moment. What do you miss most about life here at the RAS section? I miss the events. <laughs> I really like Aloha Splash, which is similar to the Songkran Festival. And I miss making the banana boats at Loi Kratom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I miss, um, you know, the dances that we used to see mm -hmm. every time. And yeah, and um, the Christmas party. How did it lead up to you deciding that you're going to go to study in Copenhagen? I, um, first of all, really, really like the city. Copenhagen is a clean city and it's a safe um, environment. And it's an international place with a lot of international students and people. The people there and Danish people are excellent English speakers and they speak a bit German as well. And they are very, um, they really help me integrate into their culture and the government is um, supports all the students and um, really the international students at my university are very nice and we have a lot of fun going out together and studying together and helping each other. Now, if there's a student, someone like me, who's interested in going to study in Copenhagen, what are the requirements and the steps that one needs to do before applying? First of all, I highly recommend looking um, at the city, make sure there's a lot of things to do and there's nature and a good place to go out with your friends. And first of all, I would also um, make sure that you have an apartment mm -hmm. that you can find an accommodation here. Can you tell me a little bit more about SU? What, how do you, what benefits do you get from it? And how do you even apply for something like that? You can apply for SU or as an international student. And it's that the government allows you to study there and they kind of send you money to study there. But the only condition is that you have to work 10 to 20 hours per week. Thank you so much, Marie, for the big tips and tricks for us um, graduating students. And I will see you in Copenhagen. My pleasure. It's nice to meet you again. Yeah.